Welcome to another exciting episode of the Scouting for Growth podcast. I'm your host, Sabine van der Linden, and today I'm thrilled to have one distinguished guest joining me. Her name is Nicole Pack, president of ITC Vegas, to dive deep into the highly anticipated ITC Vegas 2024 conference taking place from October 15 to 17 in Las Vegas. Sure. Nicole is an innovative leader with over 27 years of B2B marketing and sales experience. She is renowned for her strategic vision and ability to forge impactful partnerships. She has led conferences from the small event to the extra large experiences, welcoming 60,000 delegates. Her experience and expertise is about maximizing the use of technology for productivity and even trends, which makes her a pivotal voice in shaping the ITC Vegas experience. In this episode, we will explore the groundbreaking themes of ITC Vegas, including tackling climate change that we have covered now for over three years and the responsible use of generative AI and data. We will also talk about ITC Vegas' new format, which includes the neighborhood format to create smaller communities within a larger conference setting. So join me and Nicole to dive into our insight and strategies for navigating these changes and preparing for a future that requires reshaping interns with innovation. So, Nicole, welcome to Scouting for Growth. Nicole, thank you so much for joining me on Scouting for Growth today. Thanks, Sabine. So, Nicole, let's go into a little bit of background. We want to know who you are, you know, where you come from. I discovered Nicole last year. And so how are you going to change the world of ITC Vegas for 2024? Well, that's so great. I could start at the very beginning, right? I'm a girl born and bred in New York City. And uh, I was brought onto ITC to bring some of my New York City energy uh, into the event and into the team. Um, but uh, I I joined Sabine, as you know, ITC last September, just before ITC 2023, and was brought in to help guide this team into the next evolution of growth and uh, an opportunity. This event, as you know, has been on a rocket ship uh, since it launched or since it started. And uh, now I'd like to say that we've been in our teenage years. We went through uh, childhood and adolescence and we're in our teenage growth years. And we needed to focus as a group to ensure that we were delivering the best possible event for the community that we served. And I was brought in because of my skill set in running large scale events uh, for 20 to 30 years, a long time, and, um, and my ability to bring communities together. So for me, this was one of the easiest choices I've ever made in a career to be able to come into an industry that was filled with passionate, exceptionally smart and wonderful people and to be able to join and lead a team of ITC people uh, that are as passionate and smart and caring, uh, an absolute amazing opportunity for me in my career. And, you know, we in insurance is all about the relationship, right? I mean, I've gone into banking and I had to get out of it. But the key thing about our industry is, you know, we care for people, we trust people. So we, you know, once you've got, you know, earn our trust, you can easily lose it if you mess up with it, right? But it's all about trust and relationship. And so we are so excited to come to ITC Vegas 2024 and actually experience the change you are bringing in. So let's start with the conference themes this year, Absolutely. right? We yep. are going to tackle a lot of things and climate change, right? You are going to, to handle this head on. We have been trying to bring this for now a few years. We have written thanks to ITC, a couple of reports as well with my team to get that mindset changed. So how do you see this topic reshaping discussion this year at ITC Vegas 2024? 
So it's a, this is a topic that is probably near and dear to my heart as a parent, right? I, it's, it's important to me to, to leave our planet in a better place than where we or our, I've lived in it. Uh, and I think part of what makes insurance and the industry so great is we are insuring um, humankind, right, for the future and ensuring that our risks are mitigated as we move forward. So our climate tech um, approach this year at the event is within our property tracks as well as within our risk tracks. So we're covering it in a couple of places. This will be the third year that we're tackling the topic of climate tech. And, um, you know, we've we've sort of said three years ago, we think we were a little too early to the party and people really weren't ready to talk about it or didn't love the terminology. Last year, it started to gain steam. And this year, we're really starting to see traction on both what our audience has identified for us in their pre-questionnaires on registration as topics that they're interested in, as well as our sponsors interested in learning more about it. So this is, it's hitting home in a new way. And perhaps next year, it will evolve into its own track or its own summit within the event. That's superb, right? Because, you know, when we run our first pre-event uh, session in 2022, Nicole, Yep. We had 250 people in the room, right? We Amazing. had not enough chairs, Please. but as you yeah. said, mm -hmm. last year has been one of those discovery year where people are trying to understand, you know, to avoid, I think, greenwashing and some of the challenges that exist around that topic. Now we have an opportunity actually to bring it home and actually build something amazing. But so... Tell us how you do that, Nicole, given your extensive experience and background in marketing and partnership. How do you plan to leverage those skills to help us gain the most of ITC Vegas this year? Well, that's a big question, Sabine, and I hope that I can answer it effectively. Uh, we have set out to create an event this year that is an evolved event, a bit different than in years past because we recognize that the event, like I said, it's we're in our teenage years, we're in a growing up phase that we could do more um, for our community and more for the people that the event serves. Uh, in doing so, we took a hard look at some of the feedback that was provided to us after our event last year. And some of that feedback had to do with the event becoming too big, that it became too difficult to find the people that they were looking for and or find the topics that they were looking for. And we said, okay, how do we address this? Because we are the largest event for insurance innovation in the world. And that is something we're proud of. And we don't want to be smaller. We want to be bigger. We want to bring more into the ecosystem and under the umbrella. So we took a hard look, Sabine, and said, all right, can we create new neighborhoods on our show floor and make it easier to navigate for those that were coming to the event? And that's something that we have done this year and we've launched new neighborhoods on the show floor. We also created new content tracks on Tuesday and what we're calling curated programs. So we have a new curated program for, I, it's called ITC Brokers, which takes place on Tuesday and that talks to the brokerage community and distribution community. And then ITC Brokers has its own neighborhood on the show floor. We have um, Life and Annuity and Group Benefits, which is a huge neighborhood on our show floor this year, uh, as well as a stage. Uh, so it's our second stage in addition to our innovation and demo stage, which is an innovation alley. And uh, we also have a brand new conference in ITC Agents. So we created all of these areas to ensure that people could find like people and find the content that they needed. We also completely changed how our content and agenda was displayed on the website. This sounds like a very micro, um, a micro um, solution, but our team went in and did some very extensive tagging against all of our content and sessions so that someone can go on the website and say, I'm interested in climate tech or the any of the discussions on climate as, a, as an example, and you will be given all of those sessions because they may in fact be across different content stages. Yeah. Um, so we took a look at it from a completely different way and we're trying to provide these opportunities to people in different ways. 
I'm hoping that I answered that question. I tend to, Which is I tend to spiral yeah. a bit, Sabine, when I when I talk about you know what we're doing differently because it's from small small things like website tagging, which has huge implications actually because it allows us to to provide differently. And that's for me. I think that is probably one of the comments I made because. I'm interested in climate. I'm interested in generative AI. I'm interested in cyber. Yep. And I do not want to actually go for everything. I'm, you know, the time is very precious when we are to yep. see Vegas. So I really want to look and say, okay, what can I do on cyber? What can I do on generic? What am I going to do on the future of work, on climate? So I'm very clear around my agenda. And usually when I go in ITC, I book all my time first before I accept any meetings, actually, around the things I want to see. So the tagging is going to be absolutely amazing. Now you are bringing an amazing group of people, right? We are having the carrier, the reinsurer and the brokers, right? The insurance yeah. community. We are having the startup, the scale-ups, the tech innovators as well, and the investors. So tell us what those different groups are going to get, therefore, from the revamped website. What is going to be the experience like? So... It's it's really interesting, Sabine. I've I've been I've been on events for the majority of my careers, and most events have a very clear buyer seller relationship. At an event, you have very clear buyers, right? Very clear sellers, exhibitors or sponsors and attendees. Very clear. ITC, it is not clear. ITC is what I call a super matrix event, and we took a hard look at the audience that came or comes to our event. And we distill it down into three key cohorts. As you mentioned, we have our industry incumbents, our carriers, our reinsurers. We have our investor community. And then we have our innovators. And those three, I like to think about them as dials, uh, if you will, like pie charts almost, you know, dials that are in constant flux and moving. Be exactly. Because in any given year, we may see a little bit more from the investment. Uh, community. We may see more startups if the startup market is a happier and healthier market, uh, and we see more sort of in launch mode. Um, carriers right now is our strongest. If you look at the dial of percentages, our industry incumbents, and that's what I think makes ITC really special as well, is our carriers are the biggest right now on the percentages that attend. So it's, it is, it is, an event that is created for all three cohorts, and there are nuances to the event to speak to each one of them. Uh, for instance, the startups, which many would think would be the center of the universe for ITC. Uh, after all, they're the innovators. They are the ones pushing the industry forward. So ITC, since its inception, has always been a very welcoming place for the startups and the entrepreneurs. So we bring them in, they get entry level opportunity. Uh, State Farm does a pitch competition as well at the event, which is always, you know, well attended. Very nice. mm -hmm. And then the, they get to pitch on our main stage, you know, the winner, which is really fun. Um, and we have, um, we have something called our Founders House, which takes place on the show floor, which is by invite only. And it's for VCs to meet with um, to meet with the startup community. And we have education that's specific to them and an opportunity uh, for, for them to meet the world, right? Because they can come in through our innovation alley area or through their various accelerators or incubators. Then we have our investor community, which again has access. There are uh, access to meeting rooms. Uh, they have some content that's relevant to them, but by and large, as you know, they wanna meet, they wanna see what's available. They wanna see the new tech. They wanna have deep discussions. And then our carriers, oh, that, I mean, it is, it's a playground for them, the event, right? There's so much that they can do. And our objective is to facilitate as many meetings and connections we have for the carriers. Yeah, you know, having been part of this revolution, the ITC Vegas revolution now for many years, I've seen the evolution as well. And, you know, I remember the time where embedded insurance was not even a term. Actually, it was created at ITC Vegas. I think it was in 2016. Actually, most people would not even you get to educate it was me created on that. Yes. in mm -hmm. 2016. And it was with one startup called Cover who actually was there for the first time at ITC Vegas. And it will tell them, they will tell you, 
ITC Vegas changed their lives and um, creating their their future at one of the first embedded insurance um, ventures. So very critical for any new ventures, but also imagine three days, like you said, I have to arrive in the weekend because we are starting on a Tuesday. And so weekend is like replenishing time, right? Yep. Traveling from Europe. What is critical is uh, being active and being present and also looking at things, I think you would say four weeks in advance. I think the app is out, right, already. And you can- Not all quite yet, not quite okay. yet. Well, it may be by the time when, 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 this, when this goes live, I think that that probably is correct. Uh, we, are, we are super close to launch for the app. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm gonna let you talk about it because you are you know, an incredible advisor to the brand. So I know that you, you use our app. Yeah, event. I use the app and I use also the desktop. Um, I use both. So when actually the app is out and I always urge everybody not to actually come to ITC with the 10,000 people attending is, you know, you need to prepare four to five weeks before you need to go and start planning for your meetings. You need to actually understand the, the agenda and understand the lay of the land, right? So this app is critical to create that experience as well and really understanding what is going on. So that is what I wanted to highlight because leaving it to the last minute is not an option. I know. Like <laughs> no, not, not at this event and uh, for sure. And I'm glad that you brought that up. We have 96% adoption of that app, which actually makes it the largest show adoption of an app that I've ever been a part of, because um, it is known that you want to be in that app to set up meetings, uh, build your agenda, do what you need to do. And you're absolutely correct. This is a four to five week plan cycle. Now that doesn't mean you can't sign up a week out and make the decision that you want to come. We absolutely, you, you can, and you will have a very successful and good event. But this event requires you finding your Zen before the event starts, uh, perhaps getting a massage uh, or taking a long run, scheduling some really good exercise on that Sunday, Monday, for especially those of you doing long haul flights. Uh, and then once Tuesday starts and this event kicks off, it will not end until late Thursday after our closing party and our boys to men uh, entertainment. It It's nonstop for three days. And that does not include that additional meeting or time that you may take on Monday or you may take on Friday or Saturday. This is an intense three days. And as you said, it's career making and it's game changing for many companies who participate. 100%. And I'm thinking as you are talking, looking at this space themes, maybe I will have my, when I land in Vegas, my nail design in a space theme. Anyway, let's go back to. I think that's a great. I think that's a great idea. I'm currently rocking my uh, my neon green moon men alien nails. I've been on I've been on nail theme space theme for a couple of months now, trying to test out what I think will look best on stage. I don't think it's these. I don't think it's these. Maybe you can give me some tips, but let's go back to the main conversation. As one of the key topics of 2024 has been AI, responsible and ethical AI, and the leveraging and the usage of data in, in a much more structured and better way. So yes. when you think about just that theme, actually, Nicole, what actions are you, you know, are, are being taken right now within the conference environment with the team to ensure that this discussion build the platform for the discussion of your future, right? For the right conversation to take place. And so that we can actually affect change in our industry. Well, that's, that's it. That's, that's the answer right there is that we are encouraging and we are, um, I don't want to say forcing, that sounds like the wrong, wrong language. It sounds too strong, but we are encouraging the ethical conversations to take place uh, with really impressive panelists having these discussions. So we feel it is our role for the industry to push us a bit forward, to have us have those uncomfortable conversations as well and provide that safe space or platform to do so. And we know that that conversation that takes place in the room or in the rooms, this will be brought up on a number of panels, I believe this year, 
we know that that will spark additional conversations in the audience and then on the floor afterwards. So for us, it's to light the spark and ensure that the conversation is taking place. Um, so that is, that's one of the ways, I mean, generative AI, as you said, it's, it's on every single one of our content stages. It is omnipresent at the event this year. Um, and actually our keynote on day two is Zach Cass, and he was the former head of go to market for open AI. So he, he's an impressive guy who talks about ethics and what it means actually for us as humanity moving forward. And he's, he's amazing. I really encourage everyone to make the day two uh, keynote to hear him speak. Yeah, I can't wait because, as you said, um, we are still navigating that generative AI sphere. My view is if you don't try, you don't know what you are dealing with. And so right. I always try with my team a lot of Gen AI for our clients, for our community. But I think really understanding as humans what ethics means for each one of us or responsibility means for each one of us, because some insurance companies have told me, Sabine, ethics is very personal. So let's talk about responsibility because your ethics will be different from mine, which I agree. Everybody's ethics is different from, from a cultural viewpoint, one another, to another. So how can we be more responsible? Which tell me also, you mentioned you have new stages, right? You men mentioned the Asian stage and the life and annuity stage, right? And I remember ITC being a PNC, right? It was motor, home, travel, commercial, specialty. So what new trends and also challenges you have seen as you're actually building ITC to cater for a bigger audience, a much more interesting audience of leaders? I'm gonna, I wanna make sure that I quote some stats correctly. So I have it next to me. Yeah. So one of the biggest misnomers of ITC is that ITC is a PNC show or only PNC. And that's just not the case. And part of our strategy for this year, like I mentioned, was the creation of these neighborhoods. Because when we took a look at our audience from last year, 23 of the top 25 life and annuity carriers were present at the event. 22 of the top 25 workers comp carriers present at the event. Nine of the top 10 cyber. So we are so much more than PNC at yeah. this event. And as such, we are ensuring that the content is present on our various content stages. So all of our content stages, except for two, are located on the second floor. I'm looking at me, I'm pointing up. On the second floor uh, <laughs> in our conference space, on the actual expo hall this year for the first time, we will have two content stages. One is innovation and demo, and that is an innovation alley, which I like to refer to as one of the neighborhoods on the show floor. An innovation alley is our startup kiosks. It is where our demo stage takes place. And it's also where Founders House is. So mm -hmm. that is a whole neighborhood for the startup community. There's also a game lounge uh, within the space to ensure that everyone's having a bit of fun while they're within the space. It's it's hyper-focused on, on connections and, and chatting. And then Life and Annuity and Group Benefit also now has a stage on the show floor, which is adjacent to their neighborhood on the show floor. Um, and it's also important to note, although this is a little bit of a twist from your question, the neighborhoods that I talk about have booths, basically, and sponsors that have selected to be in that area. And they surround what we're referring to as our town square. So we have a town square in LNA, we have a town square in Brokers, and we have a town square in ITC LATAM. And that town square is the central hub for the neighborhood. So think about it as a place to uh, take additional meetings. It's a bit of a lounge. It's a bit of a meetup zone. It may have special programming going on. Um, LNA, for instance, has um, 
a, a life concierge by overalls taking place. So if you're feeling cold or you need help with dinner reservations, they're going to step in and help you. It's a great new benefit uh, being offered uh, to organizations. And we also have a step challenge with Optimity. So, which by the way, is probably key given all of the walking that we're going to do. So instead of being upset about the walking, we're leaning in and we're doing a really cool step challenge. So you find that information at the town square. Uh, we have meet the speakers sessions happening within our town squares. So it's Sabine, like the, 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 the places for meeting this year is, is intense. The other area I'd say that we received critique or criticism was not enough seating at the event. People okay. felt they needed more seating. So these town squares also are additional lounge spaces where people can in fact go and sit down and take, take a break, get off their feet. Um, so that was a way for us to also answer that criticism about seating. Yeah, that's cool. It's a little bit like, yeah. you know, if you could walk into a town square, you can have a bench and actually relax a little bit, but also you can have a chat with different people, you know, European, I mean, Italy. So, you know, it's very easy to actually speak to foreigners here. People love talking to people they don't know. And so I can actually visualize that town square concept actually coming to us and allowing for the impromptu conversation, which we may not have expected, right? Correct. Correct. That's the serendipitous encounters that you may have, but we're giving you the opportunity to where birds of a feather can flock together. So instead of just being in this huge ecosystem, you can have your home base. You have a place to call home on the show floor and you're somewhat guaranteed to meet people who are similar to you or who may be seeking solutions to or problems, right? Have problems that you have solutions to and vice versa. So it's, um, we're really excited about how this is looking. And, you know, given, as you mentioned, and by my nebula behind us, we do have a bit of a space theme happening at the event. Uh, and it will be obvious once you get to this event, it is going to be fun. Uh, we are taking that experience very seriously from as soon as you pick up your badge to um, to our one-to-one -one meeting zone, to how we design all of our various experiences. And we hope to bring smiles to people's faces as they are in, in the spaces, because we know that the Federato Beer Garden is a place where people go and take a meeting together. And we want it to be a place where you smile and you have, feel warmth. And with that warmth, you will ultimately feel more connected to the person that you intend to meet with. And that will, in fact, then catapult new business relationships and and continue the ITC experience way beyond the three days of the event. That's super. I mean, partially, you know, the at the end of the day, it has to be experiential. And so when we look at the different um, audiences you are going to welcome, right? Yep. What about the woman in leadership at ITC Vegas, right? We've done so much work over the past few years. You know, we do amazing work as well together in London. So what are you planning for uh, our women leaders and uh, startup founders as well? Well, this is a this is a special one. And, and again, it's been amazing to work with you on this particular topic. We are in our third year of offering our women's leadership event. And this year, we're actually changing the location because we outgrew our space from last year, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. So we will have an area on our expo floor, which is called our meetup series stage and area. Uh, we're working on the naming, call it meetup series. Meetup series is probably where we're going to land. So our women's leadership event will take place there. And it's a it gives us more flexibility and more space. And this has been a wonderful opportunity for women and allies within the space to get together, um, hear from some wonderful um, inspirational persons and, and hear about their journeys and connect with others for mentorship opportunities. And I'd say additionally, Sabine, the team of ITC, we are exceptionally committed to ensuring that our content stages represent the industry. So for us, it is super important to see women, persons of color, 
of minorities on our stages. And that was a mandate. And our, our global head of content took it exceptionally seriously. And we're really proud of many new faces and voices, really. It should be about the voice, really, not the face. Voices that will be heard at ITC this year. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, so important to bring this community together. And I love the fact that it's going to be on the Expo Hall because it's about inclusion, right? Yes. And so whilst it's about women in leadership, everyone is welcome to participate. Correct. Right? It's Correct. Always- and we didn't want it to be so far away also uh, because that was some of the challenge that people said. They loved being a part of it, but it was kind of far away from the action. So we wanted to reduce the walking just a little bit. Uh, so we do have our Black Founders Meetup as well, which is taking place now on the expo floor in that Meetup Series zone, as well as I believe our Rise Leadership, uh, which is a mentorship for young professionals also, I believe is in that space. I could be wrong on that. Uh, so don't quote me. Let's not quote me on that one. <laughs> no problem. Um, and we'll we check. also have a bunch of other topics and other meetups happening in that zone. And it it should be a flurry of activity throughout the event. Yeah. And, you know, I know there's always last minute changes because the space is required. So we will go back to the agenda and make sure we know when we need to be, when we need to be there. I also want to want to mention, although it's not necessarily women in leadership answer, but I do want to make mention that if there is anyone that attends the event that requires a space for nursing or prayer, we have those spaces available as well at the event. So all someone would need to do was would be to just head up to badge pickup uh, and speak with one of my team members there. And all of those spaces have been created at the event. So if someone requires a prayer room or a place for quiet respite or they're nursing, all of this is available to them so they can have the privacy to do what they need to do. Thank you, Nicole. I didn't even know. And so that is a nice to know because, yes, we often have... Um, families coming together, right? It's Vegas. So people can actually take a little bit of a holiday potentially as well as they're actually doing the long trip from Europe. And so being able to have these additional facilities like the prayer room, so critical. So thank you for doing this because what I was going to, to ask you then is when you think about the organization and I'm very lucky to be one of your advisors amongst an amazing group of other advisors, what has been the feedback from last year and what has been your, you know, your top priorities? I know you already talked about some of them, but, you know, feedback has been critical for ITC as you joined in September last mm-hmm. year. And you actually wanted to change stuff as well to actually address a lot of those feedback to actually bring new experiences. Absolutely. So I, I probably answered, answered that question a couple of times. I'd say the the two most important um, critiques or criticisms was the, it's too big, how do you make it smaller? So we are doing that through neighborhoods on the show floor, carving up our show floor completely differently um, through various new content tracks and how we present that information to make it easier to badges and ribbons on badges that people can select. So your badge will, uh, we have this year, we're bringing in badges. So you can put information on your badge that we haven't actually picked this out. As as of this recording, we don't know what we're putting on these ribbons. So it could be anything from coffee lover to founder to VC. We don't really know what we're doing yet. So we're going to have some fun with that. But again, it's a foil to help you meet other people and connect more deeply. We have... Uh, a six part webinar series in the lead up to the event to help people get ready for this event. So that kicked off a few weeks ago. I think we've executed two or three of those webinars already. Our most popular one is how to maximize the app. And that's, you know, all of these are also available uh, to look at the recordings after they're done. And I would encourage people to do that. And um, we have worked on the branding, if you will, of the event as well and how we how we present our uh, our sponsors and our partners at the event. 
So that is something we received criticism a bit about. So now there is a very cohesive and consistent look for all of our key sponsors and how they will be represented at the event. And, uh, and seating. Seating is another huge, huge issue for people because they will have spent so much time on their, on their feet. So we have at least three new lounge spaces in basically these town squares that we've built in. Plus, insider tip, we have a ton of tables in what area is deemed on the map for lunch okay. on the expo floor. And when people aren't having lunch there, go use the tables. Like we've got seating for thousands of people at these tables and they were really underused last year. That that's a great opportunity to go set up shop at a table and sit. So there is seating for everyone at this show. You just need to know how to find it. Yeah. And you know, I know that, that seems really minute, like minute. The but- important things. It's very the important article things because one thing I remember from last year, actually, Nicole, is a group of my connections were um, vegetarian. And the first day we could not find the vegetarian food, actually. And then, you know, as you walk, you realize there is this eating area and the vegetarian food was there. They were, they were not in the sandwich space, but they were there. So reminding people to walk around and there is proper hot food and a lot of space for thousands of seating, it's very important for people to walk around the expo hall to actually understand. That's a, that's a really good point. And you know what, Sabine, that also speaks to not only are there vegetarian options, but we ensure that someone who does not eat pork has options, someone who does not who does not go dairy. So all of the food at the event is very clearly marked with Mark. what allergens, if you will, or food is included. So you can be very careful with what you choose to eat. But we are very mindful in what foods we put and make available to to everyone. I actually think some of the food is really, really good. We have these like hot pockets that are on the menu. And I have to say that's one of my favorite things in the in the place. That's my go-to grab. We also try to do foods that are easy to grab and go, yeah. right? So that if you're not taking a lunch meeting, which we understand many people do, you can go and grab an apple or grab a banana or grab some granola bars. So we do try to keep you um, pretty well fueled throughout the event. And then there's obviously, if you really you know don't care for anything on the show floor, the food court and all the restaurants of Mandalay Bay are really not that far away and they really are packed during the event. 100%. So, Nicole, you, you are a speaker and you have spoken at a lot of industry forum and events. How do you approach fostering collaboration between the attendee and, you know, diverse, you know, people of diverse background? What would be your recommendation to be successful from a collaboration viewpoint when they come to ITC? That's a, that's a great question. It's It's interesting. There's like two philosophies I have when I'm attending or I'm speaking to an event. And one is, and this is this is tactical, this is a tactical approach I take. Never stand in a circle. Ensure that your circle is the shape of a you. you. <laughs> yes, you can welcome people in. <laughs> so you can welcome people in so that you are someone at that event that brings people into a conversation. And that's not necessarily everybody's cup of tea. Like that's a challenge for a lot of people. And I'm probably an introvert extrovert. I actually get my power from being alone or small group and small group conversations. I don't get my power or get recharged being in huge groups. I can walk on stage. I'm a pretty decent public speaker. I do a good job, but that doesn't actually fuel me. So for me, in those networking spaces, I have to really kind of superhero charge myself up to walk into spaces to to be ready to do that and go in with the mindset that I am there to maybe look for a new job or make new connections, do what it is I need to do, you know, uh, listen and say, oh, Sabine was just talking about that. I need to introduce Sabine to so-and-so. Be a connector for other people. That tends to come back to you, you know, tenfold if you can make those connections. Um, Plan, plan the event well and know that you are going to be going from very early in the day until very late at day. And make sure that you give yourself time throughout that day, especially if you're an introvert extrovert. I'll people listen to this and say like, you're kidding, Nicole, you're not an introvert. I am. 
Um, but I, I bake in time in my day to go have some alone time where I need to just kind of find my Zen and regroup as a human so that I can continue these conversations. I also take notes. I am not great. My memory as I've gotten older had just really is challenging, especially with names for me. So I will utilize the app as an attendee at an event, especially at ITC, and I will scan someone's badge. And in doing so, I can then put notes in against their profile so that I can say, oh, I met Sabine um, at the one-to-one -one meeting. She um, She's interested in X and we spoke about Y. So take notes. It's yeah. You're, you're, I'm, I'm sure many are like me, like it's, it could be overwhelming. So don't allow it to be overwhelming because I also know that it's through conferences and trade shows and events that I've allowed, or I've given my career the opportunity to soar. I was hired for this job because of relationships that I met with the other executive team members at Clarion at an event probably 10 years ago. So this relationship was 10 years in the making before we found the right fit for us to work together. Lovely story, actually. And yes, connecting, respecting others and being a connectors is 10, 20, 50 fold, you know, is about kindness of the uh, connection. And which I think you can feel it often when you come to the U.S. It's very much this type of mentality and um an ethos I actually feel when I um, visit United States, but also work with uh, U.S. startups and, and corporates. So my final question, or okay. one of my final questions, Nicole, is, so let's talk about the newcomers to ITC. You know, yep. what advice would you have for them? You know, those who have never come and will come to the conference the first time this year round. First off, I would say welcome. And I'm so glad that you chose to come this year. It will be a great first year for you to experience ITC Vegas. Make sure that you attend the first timers webinar and or tour that happens on the first day of the event. Um, that information is available on our website. We actually have a first timers meetup that takes place where we will bring in both team members and some of our advisory board members to help talk to you about what to expect and how to maximize the experience in day or days of the event. And then you get a preview walking tour of the show floor. So you get to see it before anybody else does uh, to allow you to game plan out a bit of how you are going to tackle the experience. So that's what I would recommend the most. I would recommend comfortable clothing, but I think I'd recommend that to everyone. Uh, this is a business event. It's not a super casual event. It's not super formal either. Uh, it kind of runs the gamut. Uh, people will wear what they want to wear. Uh, but as uh, you and I have talked about before, footwear and key footwear is really important for this event. Uh, sneakers. This is sneakers, sneakers or trainers or however you all call it. Um, this is the event to whip out uh, comfortable footwear. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm in Italy. I got myself my new pair of uh, Swarovski uh, tennis shoes. I'll show you at oh. ITC Vegas, just for ITC Vegas. But I'll show you when we are there. I'm so, so excited to see them. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, I mean, what are the last takeaways? What are some of the last takeaways you would like the attendees to remember about ITC Vegas this year? Um, what would you like them to remember as they prepare for the conference? I want them to, um, to, to understand that we believe that ITC Vegas is not an event, it's a movement. And when you are a part of this event, it's the community that you are a part of and you have this incredible opportunity to make connections that can change the trajectory of your businesses and your career. So I would want people to feel that that's what they got out of it, that they walked away. And it may be one key conversation that they had. Look for the gems, look for the jewels. It could be three conversations that took place. It doesn't need to be 400 conversations. It needs to be the right conversations and it needs to be the right meetings. I would say for those that are interested in looking for new job opportunities, 
be prepared and come with the elevator pitch of what and who you are and why someone should hire you. Because there are a ton of organizations that are looking for talent. And that's one of the reasons they come to this event is to find new talent. So be prepared for this event to change your life. That sounds really big and cliche, but it's, it is not. It is how truthfully you should approach any event that you attend. Any event can be that door or portal into your next opportunity, whether it's your business or it's something personally. And if you come in with that mentality, you're sure to have an exceptional experience at the event. Nicole, let's make sure that ITC Vegas 2024 is an exceptional experience and event for all of us. Thank you very much for joining me on Scouting for Growth today. Thank you so much, Sabine. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Scouting for Growth. Please subscribe, share with friends, and leave a five-star rating. Your rating is so valuable. I review all of them and my team help me adapt content to meet your needs. Also connect with me on my preferred channels. I am a B2B growth expert, so you will find me on LinkedIn, Instagram and Threads and X as well, as well as Blue Sky. All information available below. Until next, keep scouting for growth.